Hi everybody, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel and today I am doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag. This tag was originally created by the Book Archer and I will link her original video down in the description so make sure to go and check her out and let's go ahead and get started. Question number one, what is a popular book or series that everybody loves but you didn't like? And for me, that would be divergent. And I might be stretching things just a tad here because I did enjoy the first book quite a lot, but each subsequent book I liked less and less. Insurgent I thought was okay. I could not stand Allegiant. I loathed that book with every fiber of my being. It kept me from wanting to read Four, the novella, from Four's point of view, even though I really enjoyed his character. By the time I was done with Legion, I was like, no, I am done. I don't want to have anything to do with this anymore. I was, I was over it. I was completely over it. So, um, this isn't talked about nearly as much anymore as it used to be, but it was quite popular for a while. And I honestly just don't get it. Like this would have been so much better as a standalone. The next question is a popular book or series that everybody hates, but you like. And for me, I would have to say that's The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. This is not my favorite Ruth Ware, but I do enjoy it a lot. And uh, I see a lot of hate for this one. It seems like this was one where a lot of people were divided. They either liked it or they didn't like it at all. And I even saw some people say that after they read this, it kept them from being interested in reading Ruth Ware at all anymore. So I don't understand why it's so disliked. I really don't. Um, for me, this is one of the better ones, but you know, to each their own. The next question is a love triangle where the main character didn't end up with who you wanted them to or with an OTP that you didn't like. I don't read a whole lot with love triangles to begin with. Um, so I guess I'm just going to go to the OTP topic and that would be basically anybody in Harry Potter. I love the series, but I didn't like the couplings, particularly Ron and Hermione. Don't get me started on it. <laughs> Their personalities were just too conflicted. They fought way too much. All I could see when that coupling came about was couples therapy, years and years and years of couples therapy. And it just didn't seem like it would be a happy relationship to me. I can't get on board with it. The next question is a popular book genre that you rarely reach for. This one is hard for me because I read a little bit of everything, um, but I would have to say if I have to go towards least read genres, it would probably be romance or sci-fi. Uh, romance, it's typically um, because of the insta-love trope. I really, really despise that. And it happens a lot more in romance than in other genres. So that's mainly the reason why. Um, but I don't in any way dislike romance. If I find a romance that doesn't have that, I usually enjoy it really, really well. But yeah, <laughs> that, that'll that go into something later on that I'll talk about more. Popular or beloved character that you hate. I'm going to get canceled for this. Severus Snape from Harry Potter. Um, do not get me wrong. I think he is a very well-written character. He is very complex. He's a good character. He is not a good person, despite what he has done to, you know, hide Harry or whatever. Take that aside, and he is still abusive to children. How do people support this man? He is a teacher. He is abusive to children. He made a poor 13-year-old kid his biggest fear. How is this man supported still? It's like, yes, he did a good thing at the end, but that doesn't take away the years and years and years of abuse that he put on these poor kids. I'm sorry. Okay, rant over. <laughs> Popular author that you can't seem to get into. Um... For me, I would say this is probably either Lucy Foley or Sherry Lapina. Um, I haven't read a lot by either one of them. Sherry Lapina, I've read three books from. 
One I thought was amazing, one was okay, and one I really didn't like. And with Lucy Foley, I found one of her books average and one of them I detested. Um, I would actually be done with Lucy Foley, except uh, The Paris Apartment recently came in my book of the month. And I hadn't read The Hunting Party yet when I ordered that. So because I ordered it, I'm going to read it. <laughs> but it, it is not very, very good. I am done with Lucy Foley. I don't get the hype behind her. I don't like her writing style. I don't like her characters. I'm sorry. Come at me. We'll talk about it. Popular book trope that you are tired of seeing. I touched on this a little bit earlier, and for me, it is insta-love. I get it. I am a writer myself, and I understand that when you are so attached to your characters and you're invested in that world for a really long time and you're working on outlines and stuff, it might not be insta-love to you because you have been working for so long on this world, on this manuscript. Sometimes you write scenes about, uh, out of order. So to you, it makes sense. But if two people are in love at their second meeting or they're making out on page 10, that's something that needs attention. It is. So it's like, let's be a little bit more diligent about going back through and being like, oh, that happened a little fast. Let's fix that. Let's get some tension going so that it makes a little bit more sense. Next question is a popular series that you are not interested in reading. And for me, I'd say that I have two tied. One would be the Fifty Shades of Grey series. I am have absolutely no desire to read that. I don't think it looks interesting. I'm not into the premise. I'm not, there's just nothing about that book that in, intrigues me at all. And the few clips that I've seen from the movie make me want to read it even less. Um, going along with that, what I would also say the Twilight series. I know people kind of hate on it now and make fun of it, but it was very, very popular back in the day. And my sister, love her so much, was obsessed with it when she was a teenager. So it's like I got exposed to it a lot. I know a lot of the, who a lot of the characters are, and I know some of the backstories, but I'd never actually officially read the series. Uh, I read like maybe one fourth of the first book. And that was enough for me. I DNF'd it. I was like, good God, this is terrible. Why do people like this? And I watched all of the movies with her and I was just bored out of my mind the whole time. I was just like, no, this is bad. And um, it doesn't help that I'm not into vampire lore to begin with, but it was, that was just so cringy. And I'm just... <sighs> I don't want to. I'm sorry. Last question. The saying goes, the book is always better than the movie, but what book or TV, what movie or TV show did you prefer over the book? This one is very, very hard for me because I am one of those people that typically says the book is better than the movie, but there are a few exceptions. I would say, um, I would say The Haunting of Hill House, but I don't think that's unpopular. <laughs> Uh, that's a very, very beloved TV show. Everybody seems to like it. It's a very big deal. And it's very well written. It's well acted. Um, and the book is great too. Don't get me wrong. It's an amazing classic, but it's very different. And I just prefer the storyline in, in the series more. But again, I don't think it's very unpopular. So if I have to go for one that I don't see a whole lot, I would maybe say A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks. Um, the book... I, it's been years and years and years since I've read the book, but I remember thinking it was only okay, but I loved the movie. It, I still cry when I see that movie. It was just something so, so uh, magical and touching about it. And I really can't put my finger on why. I just, I think the movie was better from the way that I remember it. I do plan on um, reading the book again soon. And my opinion on that might change. But as of right now, that's how I feel. So that was the Unpopular Opinions book tag. Um, let's talk about it down in the comments. If you agreed with my views, leave it down below. If not, come on. Let's talk about it. Tell me why. You might be able to switch me over to your side. Um, but that's all that I have for you guys today. So if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, follow me on the social needs. 
click that bell if you want to get notified of all of my upcoming videos and subscribe. <music>